Lesson 1. Revolution of 2007 BS and Delhi Agreement Rana Rule in Nepal After the death of King Pratap Singh Shah, Nepal went through political instability. The kings were not capable enough to handle the rule due to their minor age. Consequently, conspiracies and intrigues started in the courts of the royal palace to gain power. Jang Bahadur exploited this fluid situation in his favor and founded Ranaki. Jang Bahadur Rana became the commander-in-chief after the Kut Parva, which took place on 2nd Aswin, 1903 BS. He became the prime minister and commander-in-chief after the Bhatrakal Parva. After this incident, he exiled Queen Raja Lakshmi. After Alau Parva, he ousted King Rajendra Bikram Shah and placed Surendra Bikram Shah on the throne. He got the title of Sri Tin Maharaja from King Surendra Bikram Shah. The King Surendra Bikram Shah delegated all his powers and authorities to him. He established a rule of succession to his brothers according to which only Rana family could hold the post of Prime Ministers. All the high-ranking government posts were reserved for the Ranas. It was a family rule of Ranas. People were completely deprived of basic rights. There were conspiracies to gain power among the Ranas too. The whole governing system was at the discretion of the Prime Minister. The country was quite isolated from the outside world. The Rana Prime Ministers ruled over Nepal for 104 years as dictators enjoying ultimate powers and authorities. The revolution of 2007 BS ended the cruel and despotic Ranarchy and introduced democracy in the country. Causes of Revolution of 2007 BS Number 1. Injustice and repressive rule of Ranas. People were completely derived of their basic rights, but the Rana rulers and their families were enjoying unlimited power and authority. The resources were exploited by them. Common people were not getting justice. Lots of changes were taking place in the world. Dictatorial rules were ended in different countries one after another but the Rana rulers were not ready to change themselves according to the need of time. The situation compelled the people to launch revolution for their rights and justice. Point number two, poverty and unemployment. Majority of population was under poverty line. Agriculture was the only sector creating employment then. Traditional agriculture was not enough to sustain life. The industrial and factories were not enough to provide employment opportunity to people. Educational institutions were not enough to provide technical and vocational education. At the same time, high-ranking government posts were reserved only for Ranas and a handful of elites belonging to Rana family were enjoying luxurious life. There was no option except launching revolution against injustice and deprivation. Point number three, World War II and worldwide wave of democracy. After the end of World War II, the wave of democracy and independence movement spread all over the world. Several countries of Asia and Africa got independence from the colonial rule. India also got independence in 1947-80. The Nepalese soldiers who returned from World War II joined in Liberation Army of Nepali Congress. The Nepalese students who were in India for their higher study and participated in Indian War of Independence also returned to Nepal to fight against the Rana rule. It also helped to add force in the revolution. Point number four, establishment of political parties and movement. When Nepalese people realized that a single effort is not enough to bring the change, they planned to move ahead with a group effort. Prachanda Gorkha was the first organization of people established to fight against Rana rule, but it could not run its activities effectively. Afterwards, Nepal Prasad Parishad, a political party was established by Tanka Prasad Acharya, Chairperson, Dashrat San, Vice Chairperson, Ram Hari Sharma, General Secretary, Dharma Bhakta Mathema, and Jivra Sharma, founder members at Om Bahal Kathmandu on 2nd Jester 1993 BS. It was the first political party of Nepal. As this political party added fuel to the fire in the activities against Rana rule, four brave democratic soldiers, Dharma Bhakta Mathema, Sukra Raj Shastri, Ganga Lal Shrestha, and Dasrat Chanda got martyrdom on Mark 1997 BS. King Thiruvan was also tortured by Ranas, so he also supported anti-Rana activities financially and morally. 
Zayatu Sanskritam movement was started by students of Tri Timdhara Patsala in 2004 BS. The Nepali Congress and the Communist Party of Nepal were established in 2003 and 2006 BS respectively. The establishment of political parties and beginning of movement widened the anti-Rana feeling in the common people. Point number 5. Increase in political consciousness in people. Along with the rise of political consciousness, common people also join in different political parties and movement. Some people witnessed the democratic movements in other countries also. Educational awareness was also increasing gradually in people. It led the people to fight for democracy. Point number 6. Internal clash among Ranas. There was no unity among Ranas. Sandar Samsar divided the Ranas into A, B and C classes. C class Ranas were not included in the role of succession, so they also joined in anti-Rana movements. Major events of movement. Baigania Conference of Nepali Congress held on 11th and 12th Aswin 2007 BS decided to launch armed revolution against Rana rule. The movement was declared on 21st Kartik. At the same time, King Thiruvan left the palace and went to the Indian embassy along with his family members. On 23rd Kartik 2007 BS, he went to Delhi, India by Indian Air Force helicopter. Mohan Samsar, the then Prime Minister, enthroned Gyanendra, the four-year-old second grandson of Thiruvan. He was declared as King of Nepal, but this act of Mohan Samsar was criticized at national and international level. At the same time, the Liberation Army captured Eastern Hilly region along with Biratnagar. Thirba Malla and Puran Singh were leading the revolution in Birganj. During the course of armed revolution, Thirba Malla attained Matya Doom in battle. Dr. Kuvan Indrajit K. I. Singh was leading the Liberation Army in western parts. It obtained a great success in Bhairava. Suvarna, Samser and B.P. Koirala were handling eastern fronts and captured many places with minor battles or without any battle. The battle took place in various parts of the country between People's Revolution Army and Aranas. The People's Revolution Army captured Ilam, Diktel, Athrai, Teratum, Ukhaldunga, Parwanipur, Bhairava, Kailali, Kansanpur, Dhoti, Rangeli, Malangava, Upar, Dangadi, Virganj and Parasi. Similarly, Bhojpur, Khotang, Dhankuta, Mahotari, Magina, Thori, Chitwan, Taulihava, Pokhara, Gulmi, Syangja, Baglung, Koilabas, Dang De Devkuri, Pyuthan, Talerula, Surkhet, Dailek, Vaitari, Sivaraj, Khazahani, Viratnagar and Sirsiya were captured easily. People's government was also formed in those places. People appealed not to pay tax to Ranas. Soon Ranas were limited only within Kathmandu Valley. People started to come to the streets with various slogans against Rana regime in Kathmandu and other places of Nepal. Everywhere people started to oppose the Ranas day by day. Many people were arrested but the movement spread more effectively. Mohan Samsev could not handle the country and requested the Indian government to arbitrate for a solution. On the arbitration of Indian government, King Trivuan, Ranas and Nepali Congress started to negotiate in Delhi. Finally, a three-party agreement was signed between Ranas, King Trivuan and Nepali Congress in Delhi on 1st Fagun 2007 BS, 12th February 1951 AD. This is called the Delhi Agreement. This agreement ended the Rana rule in Nepal. After this agreement, King Thrivan returned to Nepal on 4th Fagun and made a declaration of the establishment of democracy and the end of Rana rule in Nepal on 7th Fagun 2007 BS, 18 February 1951 AD. In this way, 104 years old Rana rule came to an end and democracy was introduced in Nepal. Thus, we observe Democracy Day on 7th Fagun every year. Main provisions of Delhi Agreement A. Election of Constituent Assembly to be held to draft a new constitution. B. An interim coalition cabinet with 10 members to be formed, including 5 members from Nepali Congress and 5 from Ranas. C. All the powers excised by in Sri Tin to be delivered to the king and the king Thiruvan to be the legitimate king of Nepal. D. 
political prisoners except those who are charged of criminal case to set free without any condition and e agitators to hand over their weapons to the government and stop the movement interim cabinet formed after daily agreement from ranas mohan samser prime minister babar samser defense minister sudara samser forest minister nipjang rana education minister yagya bahadur basnet health minister from nepali congress bp koirala home minister suvarna samser finance minister ganesh man singh industry and commerce minister bhadrakali mishra transport minister bharat mani sharma food and agriculture minister after this agreement the nepalese congress agreed to stop the movement but dr k i singh one of the commanders of liberation army in western front disagreed with the delhi agreement and denied to hand over the weapons to the government he wanted to continue the revolution because he didn't want any presence of ranas in the government after the introduction of democracy but the situation was different many people sacrificed their life to end the rana rule but after the delhi agreement mohan samser became the prime minister of nepal again he did not pay any attention even to the message of king tribun and on order of new government to stop the revolution later on a case of treason was filed against him and his movement was suppressed consequences of revolution the revolution of 2007 bs was a great achievement in the history of nepal the ranarchy established by jang bahadur after the court parva came to an end by this revolution major consequences of this revolution are presented below foundation of democratic practice after the end of 104 years long autocratic family rule of ranas ended and democratic practice introduced in the country various sectors of nepalese society gradually adopted democratic practices democratic practices were clearly felt in judicial service public service and political system increase in public awareness nepalese society was far behind in education in comparison to contemporary world during the anarchy only 2% people were literate people were compelled to live in illiteracy malpractices for more than a century development in education culture and literature started only after the introduction of democracy in nepal beginning of constitutional process constitution is the main law of the country it protects the rights of people and distributes the power to different organs of the state every country wants the written constitution before this nepal's government's legal act 2004 was promulgated in 2004 bs but remained unimplemented interim government act of nepal 2007 promulgated after the introduction of democracy was the first written and implemented constitution in the country in fact it was the beginning of constitutional process nepal's exposure in international arena before the introduction of democracy in the country nepal was far behind in international arena nepal had friendly relation only with four countries the rana government was completely devoted to british government but after the introduction of democracy nepal adopted non aligned foreign policy nepal became a member of uno the friendly relation also extended with other countries also nepal got exposure in international arena after the revolution of 2007 bs people's participation people's participation plays an important role in the development before the introduction of democracy there was hukumi rule dictatorship in the country the role of people were ignored it was not possible to carry out all the development works only by the government but after the revolution of 2007 bs people also participated in various creative works activities 1 conduct a debate program in the class on the topic delhi agreement was right or wrong note down the opinions of your friends and present in the class 2 prepare a poster reflecting democracy day and paste on the wall of your class exercise very short answer questions question number 1 what was the delhi agreement question number 2 who opposed the delhi agreement and why question number 3 when was delhi agreement signed question number 4 was the act of filing case of treason against dr k i singh right why short answer questions question number 
Explain the cause of revolution of 2007 BS. Question number 2. The revolution of 2007 BS had ended the family rule and introduced another dictatorial rule in the country. Present a logic in favor or against the statement. Question number 3. One of the provisions of the Delhi Agreement was election of constituent assembly to be held to draft a new constitution, but it could not be fulfilled before 2072 BS. Why? Discuss in the class and write. Question number 4. What were the changes seen after the introduction of democracy in 2007 BS? Prepare a model of email to be sent to your friend mentioning its answer. Question number 5. How do you evaluate the daily agreement of 2007 BS? Question number 6. What were the major provisions of Delhi Agreement? Question number 7. Evaluate the role of King Thuvan in the establishment of democracy. Long answer question. Question number 1. Describe the causes of revolution of 2007 BS and mention its consequences. Project work. Make a table and show the dates and events related to anti-Rana activities and their effects. The table consisted of serial number, date and event, activity and effect. This podcast is dedicated to visually impaired students. So if you know anybody who needs this book um, to listen and learn, please share the link and also please subscribe the channel. Thank you and all the best.